17-year-old Caden Walterson is like a lot of kids his age. He likes video games, baggy pants, cool clothing, especially this hat. It's part of a trendy clothing line sold in stores across the country. I don't know, just cool to wear and stuff like that. His school, not so much. Victoria Walterson is Caden's mom. He gets to school with it on and he is pulled into the office and he is told that what he's wearing is considered gang paraphernalia and that it is a direct violation of the Winnipeg School Division's uh, attire policy and he has been suspended. Problem is, Caden is not part of a gang. I was absolutely flabbergasted. The school board tells us Caden was not suspended for wearing that ball cap, but the school did confiscate it with a warning not to wear it again. Maybe 10 to 15 years ago, that was a pattern that was identified with the Manitoba Warriors. Now, the gangs have evolved and they've adapted to the uh, police's uh, identifying um, measures and they have um, found ways to hide their membership so they are not actively seeking police attention by wearing gang colors. The company behind the clothing line owns Stitches, Urban Planet, Urban Behavior and more teen friendly stores. It tells us it sells mainstream fashion, not gang clothing. And it turns out school staff aren't even trained to identify gang clothing. They rely on school resource officers for guidance. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Vancouver.